Okay, I've been Facebooking and messaging and texting all my friends about my trailer. They're so excited for me and they're begging me to videotape. So here I go. Anyhow, <clears throat> some leftovers from the uh, wedding. My cloth that tub from my in-laws, which we use as a beverage tub. We're going to actually use that in my backyard. And this is the old refrigerator to the trailer, which I don't think it has anything left in it. But my husband has this great idea that he wants to turn it into a kegerator and use it alongside the beverage tub. So, I don't know, taking out the whole back side of it and then putting in a new motor for the underside because the inside is actually pretty good with the motor shot. And there's our screen that we took off um, for the wedding because we had to be able to see the chalkboard and the wedding dress and the bride in the doorway for the first look. And here are the two jacks for the rear. The two front jacks are built in and then those are the two propane paint tanks, which I plan on painting them when I paint the trailer. So those will match with pinstripes and everything, and they'll look brand new, or I'll probably just buy two new ones. I don't know. We'll see if they're the exact same. I want them to be matching, of course. Matchy, matchy. <clears throat> and I am sick. I am run down from this wedding. Anyhow, this is the trailer. This is the air conditioner. Now, I'm going to take this out because I do have the window that's supposed to go in there. And I'm going to find another place for it because I really just don't like the way it looks. So, one of the first things that I have to do is I need to take out the windows. And I'm going to do that and I'm going to shine them up really nice and I'm going to fix all of the rubber seal on them and just give them a good cleaning and a good shining. And then put them aside. The small little dent there my friend Johnny Ha, I'm going to have him come. He's the ding-free specialist and see if he can do anything about taking some of the dings out of this. Hopefully for free if I let him use it. Anyways, as you can see, the siding is actually pretty good shape. It's just this back area right here. It's got, and then there's this right here. And the wedding that I just did this weekend, they are welders. They have like a steel business. So... When I take this skin off, I'm going to have them come through here when I go to reapply it and have them fix anything and uh, <clears throat> weld any spots that need to be welded. Now, normally these screws right here are all rusted out and they're just stripped out, but it looks like whoever owned this before um, actually put new screws in. It looks like they sealed it and that there's no more leaks in it. But I'm going to still take it apart because when you work on the, these things, you actually have to work on them from the outside in. They build them from the inside out, so you got to take them apart from the outside to get to the in. You could do it either way, but you'll find that a lot of these are on the market taken apart because they didn't realize that you need to work on it the other way, and then they realize it's too much work. But basically, if you can take the panels that are, that are hammered to the frame right underneath the skin then um, you can take those panels and measure them. If you go from the inside out, then you're breaking the panels out and then you don't have a perfect fit and it has to be a perfect fit. But anyways, it looks like there's brand new nails and um, screws in here, so those should come out pretty easy for me. So I'm kind of excited about that. And the rain, anyways, it doesn't look like I have a whole lot of work. We're definitely gonna get some new uh, Hud caps on here, some shiny ones, and we're going to shine the heck out of this thing. All of the windows need some new, these little rubber seals right here. And then I also just, you know, the guy, it looks like they just redid all the seals, but I'm really not sure if they did a good job or not. So just to make sure, I don't want to go through all this work and then have, you know, any problems later on. <coughs> and this is the back side, and it looks pretty good too. But I just want to take the windows out so I can clean them up and really shine them and replace these seals. And then when I go to put them back on, I'll have to use um, putty tape and reseal it again. And that's how you reseal it, is with putty tape. And probably some new seals on the windows as well. Now, the reason why I don't trust whether this guy actually did a good job or not, I'm sure he did, but I don't know. I'd just rather be safe than sorry. 
is because he in installed this air conditioner and that is just wood rot waiting to happen in my opinion and if you look from the inside you can see that there's some you can see some little gaps and stuff like you know light coming in in spaces so I don't know I don't like it I don't like the way it looks I'm gonna figure something else out <clears throat> but anyways the trailer part that's gonna all get painted nice and shiny my husband's really impressed with the hitch I don't know why but he is and as you can see I've already painted the the door door is in excellent shape and uh, there's a little dent right here but hopefully we can fix that and uh, but otherwise she's in really good shape she has pretty new tires on her I do would love probably won't do it right away just because it's a waste to waste new tires but I definitely want to eventually get white walls like the big white stripe around the outside I think that would look really cool and this is a little handle and there's a light up in there but there's no bulbs I don't know if it works or not yet anyways <clears throat> so we come inside and the cushions are actually in really good shape I'm actually going to take these tomorrow to the upholsterer I'm going to have them professionally upholstered because I think it is important and um, we're going to get new Formica tops on the table here and on the sink here I'm going to take off the Formica background because I'm going to wallpaper this back wall and then put plexiglass over it to keep it clean but as you can see stove is in excellent condition and let's see I am going to get rid of this funky stereo and there you go you can see and you could see that when he replaced that that it did bring in some water damage underneath that so that whole panel needs to be replaced I'll be doing that probably have to get some new hardware for this table as well um, but those funky speakers, just not good enough for my parties, to be really honest. So we're going to have an iPod docking station with some nice speakers on the inside and the outside. Definitely going to get rid of the funky mirror. Get rid of the blinds. Let's see, Can you see that? The blinds. Yeah, every single window has these, you know, aluminum blinds. And I'm going to replace them all with... Uh, Roman shades that I'm going to make myself. So this one will have a nice big long one that's mounted underneath the counters. These ones right here will be mounted on the, the outside. Anyways, as you can see, it needs all new cording. Some people call this cording, but it's really when you buy it, it's called gimp. And you can tell it's rotted out. And what that does is it keeps everything from squeaking when you walk through and, uh, and drive. Just keeps everything nice and solid. It's called GIMP. Anyways, so this stove is in such good shape, but I was really dying for the aqua blue stove, so I still might send it out to have it painted. I don't know. We'll see how much money I have when it comes time to do that. It might be something I do down the line. Maybe it's something I do right away. I don't know. We're definitely going to get a new floor, checkerboard floor for sure. And I'm, you can see these cabinets, I need to put new, um, new wood on these cabinets because there's, you can see the nails and, uh, <clears throat> these little sliders, I want to put new sliders on here. You know, this is traditional, these little holes to put your finger in, but really I want to get some nice cute little handles. Now, if you look down here, these are the original handles. I actually want to keep most everything original. And really, when I replace things, replace them with, you know, period type, type stuff. But the handles, that's one thing that I'm going to change. Like, that one needs, that one doesn't have one, and that one does have one. See, these are drawers. So nice. But I found some handles that look like my wallpaper that are really cool that I'm going to get. Anyways, and so here's a closet. Some drawers. The very bottom is, that's where the wheel well is. <clears throat> that closet and again you can see from the distance they have those little holes I'm going to replace those those doors all together and um, definitely put my little handles on them my cute handles that I have picked up 
Here's another closet right here. And it's kind of in a weird spot, and I'm wondering if this was an afterthought. Um, because really what I would like is to put a hammock back here. Because I have too many people to sleep. And so in order to do that, I'd have to get rid of this. But I have a feeling that this goes where the refrigerator is anyways. And I'll show you that in a minute. And then in here, these are the old, the old curtains. They're kind of icky. And again... And then there's like a little thing to put your broom on. You can't probably really see that. But again, another closet and down there, the wheel barrel. And here's a mirror. Of course, I'm going to replace the mirror because I need to have a fancy one. Back in. So now the damage. Okay. So as you can see in this corner, there's damage. So I'm going to have to... I can actually work without peeling right here on this outer wall, the side wall, but I will have to peel the upper because I'll need to replace that up there, up on here. So it's actually, it actually looks a lot harder than it really is. So just peel back that skin and, and replace it. I might need to do that on this corner too. Actually, I didn't notice that as much earlier. But again, it's not a big deal. This is birch. Just get some new birch. I'm going to sand down all the birch in here because I want it to all look brand new. And then the other part that has some damage is right up here. Right there. And that's pretty rotted. I'm pretty sure that the frame is rotted too, so I'll have to put some new slats up there. But again, I'll have to peel off the outer skin and rebuild the frame and then put this back on. So, I've actually been doing quite a bit of research, so I'm pretty confident that I could do this myself. And besides that, I want to take that vent out, this thing out, and reseal it, because obviously there's a problem there. And actually, the guy that owned it said that's the only place that it's leaking, and this just appeared recently. So, it's obviously leaking, but I want to take that out, shine it up inside and out, make sure it's nice and sealed and that it doesn't leak again. And then, then here's the big problem here, is this refrigerator. Now, this refrigerator is actually a replacement. It's not a period refrigerator, and I definitely want an old-fashioned refrigerator. Like the one outside, ran with diesel. I even have the diesel gas can underneath in the storage compartment. But again, he put this wood thing on here. Like, I don't, it's kind of a funky setup. I just want to rip that out. And I do think that that side cabinet go, goes in here somehow. And actually, there's a bottom cabinet, and I haven't opened that up yet. But I'm thinking that maybe the air conditioner can go in there somehow. I don't know, too. We'll see. But i got to take it apart first. And yeah, this thing has been... Oh, here's all my tablecloths from the wedding. Um, and we did have a nice sheet and a rug, and we added some little accessories for the bride. And she had flowers, and we put quilts on the... The benches and some flowers on the table. And look at there. I bought that at uh, like Ross or something for eight bucks. I had to have it because it reminds me of what this is going to be my little beach house. It'll probably spend a lot of time at the beach when I'm done. Anyways, so yes, this is going to be all redone and looking fabulous and practically brand new. But it is in very, very good condition, considering. Just need some cleanup, and some panels replaced. So, there you have it. So, I am going to probably write on my little chalkboard, gone fishing. Write a little note to the kids, gone fishing. Maybe gone shopping, maybe gone out for cocktails, who knows. And what I really like about this is, all over on this little stripe, there's the little levels, so that when... Obviously, it's not level right now. I haven't had a chance to do that. But uh, I think that that's pretty handy when you go to start leveling this thing to have little levels to look at. Because it's not automatic like the ones today. And you'll notice there's a little track up there for the awning that I'm going to have made with fringe. And uh, anyhow, this thing is going to shine, shine, shine. And I just cannot wait. 
anyhow, I have to get myself a tripod so while I start doing the work, I can uh, videotape and let you see little portions of what I do and so that I could prove that I'm doing it myself. Yeah, these are, this is one of the things I just can't stand. It's like the little tape marks on the window. Get some goo on and get that off of there. I think there's some stickers on this window too. That must be where they had the for sale sign, I don't know. Anyhow, any ideas on what to do with this air conditioner? I definitely don't want to get rid of it altogether, but I would like to have the window back. And since I have it, may as well use it and um, get some more light in there and figure out a place to put that that is better. And uh, anyhow, so this is the backyard. This will be my view. I'll be able to work on this and watch the kids swim this summer. And uh, there's the three car garage and this will be my shop. And no, I've been sick. In fact, I'm still running a fever. And this is the messy shop. Our garage is actually super clean and this is just the catch-all place. Mostly a uh, lawnmower, kids toys, bikes. Anyways, I gotta get in here. There's a bunch of garage sale stuff in here that we wanna get rid of. Our umbrellas. There's a hammock in here, some lawn furniture, tiki torches, it's a mess. Some drainage pipe. <laughs> Anyways, I will be cleaning this out probably tomorrow. Hopefully it will be feeling some better tomorrow. So there you have it, my handy dandy little trailer. And I think you saw the palm tree out in front earlier. And, you know, I think that's pretty cute, to be really honest. So, you saw all my little fa fabric swatches, so you'll get an idea of what it's going to look like. I do want to add some green to the outside, and then more of a pinstripe, and like a V on the front and a V on the back. And have a flat paint with the shiny. I love the contrast of a really flat paint, dark paint, with the really shiny, shiny skin. So, um, that's my friend Danny Hogue. You're going to be helping me. So, anyways, there you have it. Thanks for watching.